The biggest illegal job in America today is drug dealing. Dealing. Interesting that word, dealing. It sounds nasty. I buy beer at a 7-Eleven. No one calls the clerk there a beer dealer or a cigarette dealer. They just call them cashiers or salespeople. But marijuana sellers are dealers because pot's illegal. Of course, the fact that it's illegal doesn't mean it isn't sold. A lot is sold. $65 billion worth of illegal drugs of all kind are sold every year, according to the drug czar's office. And one of the people who sold a drug until recently is Lynette Shaw. So what did you sell? Well, I was licensed in 1997 to sell medical marijuana as a not-for-profit, a charity, to work with all these incredibly ill people. In California, mm -hmm. and you were one of the first dispensaries to... We were the first licensed dispensary in the nation. So you sold for 15 years, yes. some 3,000 clients, you call them patients. Well, they, they, they are definitely qualified patients under California law. Come on, a lot of them are just getting a friendly doctor to write a prescription right. so they can get high. that is not the case whatsoever. We have oh, a terrible on. epidemic in Marin County, where I'm highest rate of breast cancer in the nation. We had 50% of our patients were women in the, in the Marin Alliance because they absolutely needed medical marijuana to survive the chemotherapy and they need a safe and affordable place to go. All right, well, we can argue about this, and I would argue that anybody ought to, once they're an adult, ought to get to put in themselves whatever they want, because you ought to own your own body, but that's yeah, for that's another else, show. Yeah. You have been a good, a good business person in your community. The mayor town says you've been great. However, yeah. you're near a playground, near the children. Well, it was a a ball field that was not used nine or ten months out of the year and then when the, there was ball games we were under under all our rules we had a hundred rules we had to had to live by we had to close during the ball games so we were not open when the ball games were there a few months out of the year and the rest of the time the ball field was empty and not used it was just a little funny little ball field that was there and the mayor says proximity of the location has never been the cause of controversies in the community never no, we had no complaints, no problems. In fact, we got rid of the street dealers, and the children had less access to medical mar or any kind of marijuana because the medical marijuana facility had a nice, safe place for the patients to go, and there were no more street dealers. All right, explain that, because this is counterintuitive to people. People think you legalize marijuana, there are more street dealers. Oh, no, no, we got rid of the street dealers. That was the whole thing. Because there's a legal place. There's no incentive to say, psst, kid. Oh, yeah. It, well, Having the patients have a nice place to go to that was regulated and, and audited and completely transparent took away the street dealers. We were able to lower the prices, we were able to make a safe place, and there was nobody on the street waving baggies anymore. In fact, the patients would chase those guys away because they didn't want to threaten our permit. So we, we cleaned up the streets by having the facility there. All right, so President Obama, running for office, said, I'm not going to be using Justice Department resources to try to circumvent yeah. state laws on this issue. Yeah. Uh, and federal law, marijuana is illegal. State law in California, it's legal. Yeah. But then last fall, the Justice Department held a press conference where U.S. attorneys made it clear, no matter what state laws say, federal law prevails. <sighs> Commercial marijuana operations are illegal under federal law, and we will enforce federal law. California's laws have been hijacked by people who are in this to get rich and don't care at all about sick people. You hijacked the law to get rich. Yeah, well, that, unfortunately, I have no money. I'm a patient. I never did make money. Was, I had a charity. Department of Justice sent a letter to your landlord. You must be evicted within 45 days or yes. he's in trouble. Yes, they actually moved to take the property. We immediately, you know, it was like moving a hospital. We've been there 15 years. We had three offices, 8,600 medical records and all these awards and, and all the records and everything. And there, we, uh, at the time of our closure, we had 3,500 patients who all now are crashing medically. We have overloaded public health services, the emergency rooms. I have thousands of my people crashing because you cannot substitute quality, stabilized medical marijuana with some crummy stuff from a street dealer. Also, the street dealers are back on every, every quarter. And it's been, a, it's been a tragedy and a crisis and a madhouse all at the same time. And what one of the U.S. attorneys uh, said, she's protecting us from violence. Where there's marijuana, there's money, and lots of it. These places are prime targets for robberies and violence. The way she says money, it's like money itself is evil. 
We had never any violent incidents. In fact, because I could call the police, all the thugs and ruffians, they went away. As soon as we were licensed, no problems. Call the police, take away the bad guys, like any other business. And you say banning this is good for the bad guys. Oh, yeah. The drug cartels are back, the street dealers, the, the, our, my friends, the police are going crazy. And the planning commission is with you, the mayor, the oh, town yeah. council, they say Board would have a par closer closure would have the paradoxical impact of decreasing public safety. Yes, it, it absolutely did. It's been a terrible crisis and it was unnecessary and mean and wrong. And Mean yeah. and wrong. That's what government regulation often does. Thank you, Lynette Shaw. I'm sorry for what you had to go through. I'm sorry for your patience. Coming up, businesses selling things that are totally legal. Entrepreneurs who wanted to employ people and serve people. They're in trouble, too.